My name is Megan Patterson, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Educational Psychology at the University of Kansas. Today I'll be talking about a recent issue of the monographs of the Society for Research and Child Development, entitled Toward a Developmental Science of Politics. I co-authored the monograph with six colleagues, Rebecca Bigler, Aaron Palkey, Christia Spears-Brown, Amy Robertson-Hayes, Chantal Ramirez, and Andrew Nelson. In our monograph, we describe factors that are likely to affect children's political development and report the results of a study of 5 to 11-year-old children's views of the 2016 U.S. presidential election. The 2016 election was interesting for a variety of reasons, including Hillary Clinton's status as the first woman to secure a major party nomination for the presidency. Our sample, while not nationally representative, included nearly 200 children and was racially and ethnically diverse. We collected data from five sites in four U.S. states, and children participated in interviews both before and after the election. I will highlight just a few findings here. Overall, children were interested in and knowledgeable about the presidential election. Nearly 60% of children reported that they cared about the election a lot. The large majority of our sample could identify Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, and 90% of participants could describe a personal characteristic or policy position of at least one of the candidates. The policy that children reported most often was Trump's proposed plan to build a wall along the U.S.-Mexican border. In describing candidates' personal characteristics, negative descriptions were more often reported for Trump than for Clinton. Positive characteristics were more often reported for Clinton than for Trump. We were particularly struck by the tone of the negative descriptions of the candidates. Examples of the negative candidate descriptions included evil, wicked, racist, liar, and total crap. These responses suggested that children are attending to messages about politics in their environments, and that negative messages presented in political advertisements and debates may impact children's attitudes. Despite children's interest in the election, their responses suggest that adults may have been somewhat reluctant to talk with children about politics. For example, fewer than 20% of children indicated that their parents talked with them about the election frequently. This is unfortunate because parents are an important source of political information for children, and conversations with parents and other trusted adults can help children to make sense of political processes and understand candidates' proposed policies. We also found evidence that children were influenced by the attitudes of the people around them at both the family and community levels. For example, children were likely to support the presidential candidate that they believed their parents supported. In addition, children were more likely to support a candidate if voters in their county supported that candidate. On average, children reported negative responses to the election outcome, including sadness, anger, and fear. Latinx children reacted more negatively to the election outcome than did white children. In contrast, the emotional reactions reported by girls and boys did not differ. Finally, we asked children several questions about their views of gender and politics. We found that children were often unaware of women's underrepresentation in elected office. Half of our sample thought that half or more of all U.S. governors, senators, and representatives were women. In reality, fewer than 20% of these roles were then held by women. In addition, 30% of children thought that a woman had already served as President of the United States. These are just a few of the findings that we report in this study. We think our data raise interesting and important questions about when and how children should be introduced to political ideas. I hope that you will take the time to read the monograph in full. Thank you.